The government is required to file a human rights assessment report to the United Nations after every two years. This is because Uganda is a state party to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and has been a member since 1995. In 2020, government submitted a report on the status of human rights to the legal and human rights experts of the United Nations. The UN experts will later pose several questions to Uganda on matters of human rights observance. The United Nations, for instance, tasked the government to explain what has been done to curb the use of excessive force, especially while arresting and even detaining civilians. The Deputy Attorney General Jackson Kafuzi says the government has made significant strides in addressing this issue, including charging errant security officers accused of using excessive force in civil and criminal courts. In the last four years, in a partnership with the Uganda Human Rights Commission and the civil society organizations, approximately 22,000 officers have been trained in human rights. With such training, however, security officers are still using excessive force while handling civilians. The United Nations also tasked the government to explain why the Uganda Human Rights Commission is underfunded, which hinders its operation. However, government says this is not the case. The government of Uganda has over the years progressively increased the funding of the Uganda Human Rights Commission to facilitate its work. In the year 2021-2022, its budget was 20 billion 897 million. This being an increase from the budget of the previous year, which was 18 billion 903. The Deputy Attorney General says government has fully staffed the Human Rights Commission in order to facilitate its smooth operation. There has been a concern about civilians being tried and charged in military courts, even in cases that are entirely supposed to be handled by a civil and criminal court. The United Nations asked the government to explain if the use of military courts to try civilians is compatible with the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The UPDF Act stipulates that an individual can be subjected for trial in a military court if he or she is found in unlawful possession of any equipment that is ordinarily meant for the use of the military. Like ammunition, uniform and others. Other than that, there is no reason why a civilian who has committed an offence or alleged to have committed an offence is to be taken to a military court. Cabinet last Monday approved a report containing this and other responses to the issues raised by United Nations. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is now expected to submit the report to the United Nations before the end of February. Daniel Kibet, NTV.